Hi Cancer, this is your reading and I'm Shah from Charlie's Angel Tarot. I'm sorry I haven't been out last week, but you know that I I only was out very shortly on Monday, but I haven't got any data. I've got no telephone, no TV whatsoever. So if I can load these up before the end of t Sunday night, then it will be done at another location where it is safe to internet. Okay, so um, I hope you're well. I'm using two different decks. I'm using the Star Tarot and I'm also using the Pagan Tarot and the Tea Leaf cards and uh, Archangel Michael. Now this reading will be from the 19th to the 25th of October and um, I'm I have to, I'm sorry uh, but I'm doing th two things at the same time and I've also done the marathon yesterday and it was absolutely phenomenal we raised 120 euros so far uh, the lines are still open to donate so if you would like to donate I will leave the information below the video as well or I might just do a separate video and I hope you can spare one or fifty cents or one dollar uh, to the donation of Marina that needs a life-saving operation there's fifty three thousand already gathered um, everybody is doing their bit and I'm really proud of my cyber angels um, because they are coming through big time Canada um, America um, Ireland, England, absolutely amazing. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, I, I've already got the videos up and running from Capricorn to, to Gemini, so, and I haven't been able to thank them, so I will have to make a separate video um, just to let them know what is what. Okay, so let's get started with your reading, and if you're new, then welcome to the channel. Please sub and like and also hit the bell on all and set your settings correctly in YouTube and your mobile device. There is a video, and um, if you don't know how to do it, there is a video uh, under news and updates showing you how to do that. Okay, my lovely Gen uh, Cancers, you, the first card you have is the Queen of Pentacles. Now, this is a beautiful deck. It looks a bit um, chaotic. Um, but she's also holding a, a small rain, uh, a small deer in her lap, as she is. I hope you can see it clearly. As she's also Mother Earth, she re represents the Earth, as she is the Earth uh, element and the Queen of this suit. She stands for fertility also that she's got green fingers because every seed that she plants she nurtures it and brings it to life and to blossom and to harvest and she keeps on doing this whilst one harvest or one yes how one harvest is growing she's already sown the next one perhaps that is a lesson for you not to do everything at the same time but take it step by step sure and slowly so in other words she's got the green fingers but her husband has got the golden fingers the meters touch so they are definitely people that take things slowly but steadily and with durability and tangibility and for long term so you might be um, uh, feeling quite motherly at the moment because we are in a sort of beautiful energy of uh, harmony that's Libra and peace and taking your time and so uh, I know Libra is the air but that is their uh, wish or their finest uh, aspect in their energy they need peace to stay in balance of course but taking things time from time and slow but steady it also is very um, soothing knowing that you will have something for the long term perhaps you have invested in a new job or seeking a new job well this time the ground is fertile the ground is fertile to get pregnant 
the ground is fer all the time is fertile to get pregnant or to get a new job that will be long lasting or doing some kind of investments perhaps you're sowing seeds for something that you dearly wish now the queen of pentacles is virgo but don't uh, exclude taurus and capricorn we have the five of wands and the five of wands means that you might be feeling out of sorts because you're not in balance because you're in between things you might feel left out of a group or you might feel left out of family or friends um, groups um, perhaps you have left a job and you're feeling um, un unbalanced uh, emotionally don't be because some you have sown the seeds you are nurturing it you're on top of it you can also ask help from institutions like the job uh, agency perhaps they might be able to help you and don't shy away to ask for help if you are trying to get pregnant then go and see your GP and ask for assistance there's always a way out or to get you to what you want to do okay but I think you might be coming into um, harvesting time perhaps you're not can't balance your finances um, or emotional things uh, like home and work and you are worried that there's not enough but you've sown seeds so they uh, take time to grow okay make sure mm, you know that and that you are aware of it nurture what you want go for it and take it slowly but steadily and surely like the Queen of Pentacles the birth is coming so there could be a birth of a project or of a child don't give up okay then we have the Empress and sh you've got two mother earths lying na uh, next to each other uh, because she's also mother earth and she also has the um, baby aspect in her tummy this is the like a lotus flower love and birth of something that you love and you've got the butterflies just around her shoulders and above her head this is a transformational time and you can see the light of the divine from the star covering her bringing her peace and a transformation she is a lot like the uh, Queen of Pentacles like I said the Queen of Pentacles is Virgo and the Empress is Libra so perhaps you've sown seeds in Virgo in September and or in Libra or they might be coming to fruition now that we are in Libra and we're actually going on to Scorpio and we'll be entering Scorpio on the 21st 22nd of the month and I have to do the video on that energy as well because um, apparently a lot of you like watching the energy uh, of the zodiac that we're going into this is also how you can become familiar with the energy in general of the zodiac sign or zodiac signs there is one out on Virgo and Libra have a look at it you've also got the eight of Pentacles um, clarifying the Empress like I said with the Queen of Pentacles and the Empress she stands for birth this you could find out that you're pregnant if you don't want to get pregnant you know what to do but you could be hearing of a birth or of a child or of a project your hard work is being recognized so like I said don't give up you will get to where you want to go because you've put this, the work in and you're getting recognized so you are in a way in the spotlight you could start a new study as well because the eight of pentacles means work or study so you could be starting a new study even if it is just for a hobby and you've got uh, eight and eight so you've got two eights and the eight is the powerhouse right 
and 8 and 8 how much is that? that is 16 and 16 come becomes a 7 so luck is on your side now you've got the 8 of wands on Friday and that means that things are happening rapidly really really fast it just doesn't rain it pours with things that's happening you might even be traveling okay this could be for work or this could be like for a job interview or this could be a just a plain holiday Wow and this could also mean that you could be getting news this news will come through cyber this could be a telephone call a text message or an email telling you the next step to take or that you've got the job or you've got the study or what study you have to do you know what resonates with you we've got the seven of cups you have got goals and you have got dreams like I said you've been planting seeds and you feel a little bit out of sorts or out of whack at the moment make a pros and cons con list if you haven't done that um, and see what dreams or goals could come to fruition directly this will also motivate you to move on to the next dream or the next goal don't have any illusions about it stay with both feet on the ground and get get off your bottom and take action then you know that the your goal or your wish will come true perhaps you might wish to have a partner perhaps um, you like I said you want a job but um, it could also be a new partner you've been planting seeds and working hard on yourself to make yourself more attractive to open your heart to open up the solar plex and um, to get noticed and to get the recognition okay and you're on the right path to do so because you've got the two ladies there which are beautiful voluptuous caring nurturing characters both the Empress and the Queen of Pentacles you might all of a sudden get invitations because news is coming to you and it could be of the person that you wish because you have met your soulmate you have the two of cups you are emotionally in balance and there might be butterflies woo in your tummy we've got the butterfly here and let's have a look I'm sure there must be butterflies on here as butterflies are messages from the angels no I can't see any but there are butterflies on this and the birds of peace you've got also an other perspective right you've got the butterfly behind the big the birds of peace the dove and you've got the eagle carrying the star so you've got an other perspective and that you've been working on yourself getting a different perspective perhaps how do people see you and you want to be voluptuous and sensual and sexy okay you are, have done the work well done now you are the princess of wands wow nice one and you've got beautiful colory clothes here and ribbons look at that you are definitely being noticed and the page of wands the princess is a page she um, has balance and she knows what she wants and that's why she's going for it and I think that is the way you are going or that you are in at the moment and you might feel different and that's why you might be out of balance because you are leaving what is no use to you behind you and you're moving forward to the new there is definitely big changes okay now news the the princess of wands or the page of wands that is usually Sagittarius but don't exclude Aries or Leo 
news might be coming from one of these persons but it could also be news in general as you've got a lot of news coming towards you this could be news of a passion but you don't want just want to stay in passion you want uh, you feel you've met your uh, soulmate and you want this relationship to work and to stay you want some certainty so that you can stay in balance now this is magic and this has happened this week quite a few times two or three times that we've got three numbers the same you've got an eight here you've got an eight here and now you've got the eight of cups and also the rainbow is quite significant that means somebody from the other side is helping you or trying to connect to you this could be a grandmother a grandfather an ex anybody that's passed over okay so somebody has your back if it isn't an angel but again you see the bird of peace the dove you want excitement you want adventure but my advice is make that pro and cons list so that you don't have any illusions don't throw away an old pair of shoes before you've got a new pair of shoes now have a look on internet what 888 stands for because you've got three eights two eights becomes a number seven and that's lucky so that's 8 and 8 is 16 and 8 is 24 and that becomes a 6 so you will get from 5 to 6 and you're moving upwards because you've already got the 8 and you've got a 7 here so 5, 6, 7, 8 you are moving upwards and onwards like I said you're moving forwards there are still things that you don't know though because you've got the moon now the moon is you as well and definitely your energy but the moon is also uh, and look the, what's lying underneath it it's the leap of uh, the fool take a leap of faith and you have got the um, moon there and the moon is uh, you could be meeting a Pisces but don't exclude Cancer or Scorpio I think you might be highly sensitive at the moment because we are moving into Scorpio which is a water sign but we've had the full moon on the 1st of October and we'll have another full moon on the 31st of October and that is Charmaine festival in the Wiccan or the pagan uh, calendar and Halloween in the in our calendar so that is when heaven and earth are very close together the veil is very thin so you might feel something special on the 31st or a few days uh, before or even when we're changing over from Libra into Scorpio so be aware of your intuition and your spirituality your third eye might be open uh, might be more open than usual you might feel or see things you might see signs from the angels or somebody from the other side okay there are all with the moon you all there's also a dark side and like I said you are you've got recognition you're in the spotlight well here is your spotlight literally and figuratively and there are things that you might not know and that's why you might start a new study um, so do your research and you've got the archway here to go through the angels are giving you a new beginning a pathway to a new beginning Wow and like I said the Queen of Pentacles and the, um, the Empress are also signs of new beginnings and birth for the first card of the um, tea leaves you have fair man that's blonde or grey dealings or relationship with a man with that blonde hair grey or white okay so it could be a grandfather like I said Con trying to connect with you 
there's something spiritual in this reading okay now then we have the ram that could be an Aries a stubborn aggressive person could uh, that could be the blonde guy could be stubborn or aggressive so be aware you've got a warning money path a path with money is waiting for you to find it yes like I said study you might be specializing in what you're doing and might start studying to get that degree or that certificate um, and you could be even finished in April next year if you start now you might be doing a short short course to uh, to perfect your uh, career that will bring in money planting the seeds okay then you have the divine download well there you are you are downloading information into your brain to specialize or perfect your uh, uh, perfect your talents Archangel Michael is present is present and asks you to listen to and heed his guidance. It will be delivered as an abrupt abrupt definite um, intuitive sensations. Like I said, your third eye might be opening and somebody might be connecting with you from the other side. This shield is symbolically presented to you by Archangel Michael as a power tool of protection. As you work more with Archangel Michael, you will attune closely with his guidance and messages. As the great warrior, his priority is to keep you safe and sound at all times. Safety is definite as the condition of being protected against physical, spiritual, social or financial, emotional occupation, psychological or other types of consequences of failure, damage or accidents, harm, error or any other event which could be considered non-desirable. So you are being protected. Life is busy and the world is fast paced at any given moment in time you can be thinking about the multitude of things jobs to do deadlines to meet find a car park what you could what to cook for dinner and so on you easily become distracted from the outside world and then miss Archangel Michael or the angels signs that are delivered as your preoccupation with other things decreases your observation skills this is where Archangel Michael will step in with divine download or warning to hold you back into reality he delivers these downloads as a definite abrupt intuitive sensation you may suddenly hear or in or into it, in use your intuition, feel something in your gut in a single loud word or a short statement such as stop, run or turn right or have a strong overwhelming feeling to stop, run or turn right without knowing why. This is Archangel talk Michael talking to you. Please don't ignore these downloads. It takes immense energy for Archangel Michael to deliver such messages. Now that he is your occupational health and safety officer on hand 24 hours a day. So don't um, discard the this intuitional feeling. And I think you will be highly intuitional this month and the coming weeks definitely in Scorpio. I hope you've enjoyed this reading. Take care and look forward to things coming to fruition and all the recognition and love that you are going to receive. Stay safe, stay blessed and please like and share.
until the next video or otherwise in the life. Ciao, ciao.